Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to more boar. <laughs> more boar. B -b 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 -b. Welcome back to more boar. And on this episode, we will be working on this challenge, which is to steal and deliver a wood pile. More boar. B -b -b -b. Okay. Sure, Vex. Why not? As you do. Uh, and they say, hint, use the grabber. That sounds easy enough. I should probably try to make a robotic arm. And it looks like this is kind of like a, a non-combat challenge that doesn't have me blowing up everything. So, <clears throat> hopefully this one will be a little bit more peaceful. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at all the explosions! Boom! It just goes everywhere! <laughs> right. Okay. Welcome back. Alright, I calmed down a little bit. I'm not blowing things up. Let's try and actually do this objective. Now, I've got a little cart here. The more astute among you might recognize that as the uh, basic turreted vehicle I made. And I reworked the turret a little bit. And I've made this arm. And I've used counterweights here. And I was carefully... Let's let it stop, see. Uh, it's pretty close to being balanced, I think. I could monkey with it a little bit more, but it seems stable enough for my purposes here. So, we've got... Uh, this is my first time using the pistons, and I have them set down to a pretty low speed, a point ten. Basically, the ex pistons were extending too fast, and they were making the uh, vehicle get flung all over the place. Uh, but now, with the slow pistons taking it nice and easy, you know what I ought to do, maybe? I just had an idea. What if I did something crazy like this? Actually, I wanted that. Check this out. And then put the counterweights back here. There we go. And uh, might want to turn that up a bit. Let's try 1.7. Actually, no, let's try 2.0. Extend. Yeah, it's too heavy. Okay, good. If 2.0 was too heavy, we would have to uh, put on a second one. And I was hoping to get by with just... Oh, look at that. It's not bad. It looks pretty stable. Oh, wow. Uh, it's like slightly, just slightly. Let's try 1.4. Look at that. I'm kind of proud of myself. That is very smooth and stable in function. Alright. This this design is going to be a keeper, I can tell. <clears throat> we probably might want to do something with the... Uh, the chassis. The chassis could be better. But let's just test out some basic functionality. And skadoodle over here to this first piece of wood. Yeah, the chassis is the weak link here now. Alright. I think I'm pointed at it. Up, up, up. Alright. Let's pick it up. Alright. 
Now that's an idea. We could have a, uh, a... Let me rotate it this way. Nah, I know what we I know what we need. <clears throat> I know exactly what we need. We need uh something like this. We don't really need I don't know if we need these right here. But we do need to make the back section here more robust. And we basically just need another like deck on the back of this thing. Something like this. Oh wow, I didn't know you could put something like that. Like, like, there like that, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, basically a, an area back here where we can put, uh, as far as the wheels go, I think we could probably ditch the wheels. Uh, let's lift the machine up a little bit. Okay. Uh, the hinges for wheels don't really work all that well. <clears throat> uh, let me just see if I can redo the bottom. Just completely rework the thing. Okay. I've reworked the bottom area of the vehicle. I've really taken a liking to these steering... Uh, shafts here. Let's see. Yeah, steering. These are so much better than the hinges. Like, look at this. The way I've built it, these go all the way around, and I can just drive the vehicle in any direction. Like that. I probably actually, though, eh, now that I think about it, I might want to turn down the wheel speed just a little bit, so it's not so... Uh, the acceleration's not so jerky. And we can... Uh, like that. That might work a little better. Yeah, because this thing, I want this thing to be smooth in operation. I like how I'm basically building a cargo truck. I have a confession. I've had a lot of fun making this vehicle, and it's completely not intended to kill stuff. Maybe Paul Soros Jr. was right about me, and I am going soft. I don't know. But, uh... Let's maneuver the, the hand back here. And... It can, I believe, there we go. It's capable of grabbing onto the truck bed itself. So I can store it back there while we move around. Kind of reminds me of how a tank uh, can rotate their turret to the rear. And then they'll have like a little uh, locking area for the tank uh, gun barrel, cannon barrel. And so it's intended to be able to drop its payload back here and carry it around. Uh, which I think is kind of cool. Alright, let's go test it out. Alright. Swivel this around. And we want to toggle it with, uh, what is it, H. Grab that. Suck it back up. Pick it up. Uh, let's try and put it on the truck bed. Oh, oh, don't hit myself. Well, that's that's why the armor is there. Oh, careful. Yeah, the bed needs to be longer. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's take this thing back around. Careful. Actually, I have a I have an idea. I have a crazy idea. Um As far as stowage goes, what if I did something crazy like this? Uh, or is it? Is it? It's an engineer mechanical. Uh, is there a key? Maybe B. So please lock this in place. Thank you. There! That's almost as good. What'd you guys think? Kinda cool? Alright. 
I'm going to go ahead and save this before I forget. Uh, this is the cargo truck. There we go. Bloop. Got her saved. Now. Let's lock the crane in place for travel. Maneuver the vehicle over me. Unlock the crane. Extend the crane. Pick up the thingy. Retract the thingy. Lock the crane. All right. Come over here. Oh, that's I only had to do one. I thought I had to go get all of them. Okay. That's I love that design. That's my that's my favorite thing I've built so far. That that simple cargo truck. I really like it. I I like it a lot. Uh I w I've been a derp used trying to use hinges to steer. This this steering mechanism is so much better. It's so much better. Uh, okay. All right. Well, let's see what the next zone is. What do we have to do now? Solomon's flock. Uh, is there a cheat where I can skip this level? I don't want to kill the sheep. I don't want to... I don't want to kill the sheep. I love the sheep. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Nope. 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 Wait, did one sheep just commit suicide? No, sheep! I don't... No, stop! No, sheep are floofy, and yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of sad now. Okay, I don't want to do this level. I don't want to. I don't want to kill all the sheep. They're adorable. Okay, Paul Soros Jr. was right. <sighs> Damn it. Can I pick a sheep up without hurting it? Alright, watch out now. I'm backing up. I'm backing up, little guys. Careful. Come on. In all fairness, they do literally fling the... They literally get right underneath my wheels. I, uh, I'm trying not to hurt them. <laughs> they're, they're making it slightly difficult. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, obtain a sheep. Sheepy, sheepy. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Sheepy, yay! I got a sheep. I has. He's my sheep. This is my sheep. This is my sheep. Yes. So what do these guys look like? We have a, a sample of sheep. Oh, look at their little shaggy haircuts. Oh, damn it, game. They're adorable. I don't want to hurt them. Oh. Wee. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those amusement park rides. Where you uh you get the little plane, and it's on a central pivot like this, and it just kind of goes up and down. Row. In in all seriousness, uh, I just put some saw blades on the bottom and the sheep love to come up under this thing and just they just kill themselves on it uh, I had something here saw blades just stuck some saw blades on the front and I also put like a little grabber here so that it would lock in place and I could just have like that 
around the front of the thing and just sweep it back and forth. But uh, I don't even really need it, to be honest. I just, the sheep just, once they get underneath the vehicle, those two saw blades down there, get them. So, I do not enjoy doing this. I take no pleasure in this. I'm just doing it to clear the level to progress with the game. Poor sheep. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Last two. And we'll be done with this shenanigans. All right, we beat the level. All right, next time. <sighs> okay, Marksman's Pass. Oh, that's going to be fun. Anyway, I just had to add this. I couldn't leave it unfinished. Uh, blah, I did not like doing that. See you guys next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy.